Hello again and welcome back to our course on Excel for Mac 2019. In this module I'm just going to talk briefly about the differences you'll find between the PC and the Mac version of Excel. Now the Windows version of the Microsoft Office Suite has always really been the gold standard for Office applications as far as features are concerned. But Office does exist on other platforms like the Mac but those versions are missing a few products and features. So what I'm essentially saying is that if you're used to using Excel on a Windows PC and you're coming across to the Mac version, you may find that the breadth of functionality you're used to isn't available. Now saying that, there have been a lot of improvements that have been made to Excel for Mac, particularly in the last version that was released, bringing it in line with the PC version. So things like long overdue features like collaborative real-time editing, auto-saving of documents in the cloud. Now having said that, there were some improvements that were made, in particular in the last version of Excel for Mac. So that version brought in some long overdue features like collaborative real-time editing and also auto-saving of documents in the cloud, amongst a few other things but you will find that there are still some features that you may miss out on when using the Mac version. So what exactly is missing? Now you can see here on the screen, I've pulled up both versions of Excel. So on the left, we have the current Mac version. And because I've minimized this window slightly, made it a bit narrower, you'll see that some of those commands are kind of squished up a little bit. And then on the right hand side, I have open the Office 365 online version of Excel, just so you can get an idea of the differences between look and feel. And honestly, there isn't really too much of a difference between the way it looks. You're also very fortunate that Excel is really the Microsoft application where the missing features are minimal. There are a lot more missing features in some of the other Microsoft applications like Outlook and PowerPoint. And what you'll also find is that there are a couple of features that aren't entirely missing, but they're possibly not quite up to their Windows counterparts, don't function the same or don't function as extensively. So I'm just gonna highlight a couple of the most important things that are missing. So the first one is Visual Basic Integration. So Visual Basic Integration essentially lets you record and use and edit macros to automate tasks. Now, macros are supported, but not in as full a way as they are in Windows. So you may find if you're trying to do a complex macro or edit a complex macro using VBA, you may run into a few limitations. Another thing is pivot charts. Now in Excel for Mac 2019, it does fully support pivot tables, but its support of pivot charts has been somewhat lacking in previous versions. Now there was an update in 2016 which brought them more in line with the Windows version, but you may still find that some charting utilities are missing. Now really those are the two big ones, the VBA integration and the pivot charts. You should find that you are able to do pretty much most other things that you would be able to do in the Windows version. Now with regards to other differences that are not specific to the apps, now if you are using a MacBook Pro as I am here or another Mac laptop that has a trackpad, it uses gestures to scroll up and down or move left and right or even zoom in or zoom out of your document. Now as I'm doing that final one there, the zoom in and zoom out, I'm actually doing a pinching motion on my trackpad. So again, that differs from other mouse control methods you might have used previously to zoom in and out of your document. It's definitely worth jumping online and Googling for gestures on a Mac and getting the full list so that you can become familiar with them, which will help you work a lot more efficiently when working with Excel on your Mac. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, the general overall look and feel when you're using the applications is virtually the same, but there are a few differences. But for the most part, the commands are organized in a very similar way. So you can see here, in one version, we have home, insert, draw, page layout, formulas, data review, and we pretty much have the exact same setup in the Office 365 Windows version as well. 
So hopefully that's something that you won't find too difficult to adapt to as most of the commands have been kept on the same ribbons in the same place. Now, one area where things are a little bit different on the Mac version is when you're jumping into the backstage area. Now, if you're not sure what I mean by backstage area, if you're used to using Windows, when you click on file, you get a list of things like open, new, save, save as, print. It's all of those admin -y type features, things that you might want to execute with your file or your spreadsheet. Now, if you look at the ribbons in the Mac version, you'll see that we don't actually have a file ribbon. Now, if you move your mouse right up to the top, you'll get this little drop down menu bar. And you can see in there we have file. And this is where you have access to new, new from template, open, open recent, close, so on and so forth. So that is how you would get to those options from a spreadsheet. Now, if I just jump into new for one moment. Now, because we have this menu bar, you can access those backstage options just there. But there is kind of a backstage lurking in the background, and it's not particularly obvious how you get to it. So a bit of a, a cat candid way I'm going to quickly get to it now just to show you is I'm going to jump into file. I'm going to go down to open which is going to take me to my finder. I'm just going to click online locations. And that actually takes me into something which looks very similar to the Windows backstage view. So you can see here I have the options for new where I can select a template, so on and so forth. So just remember that it is kind of there, but an easier way to get to it is just by using your menu at the top there. So that's pretty much it. Those are the main differences. And as I said, you will get used to them as we move through the course. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. And click over there to get the complete Excel for Mac 2019 beginners course. And click over there to watch the complete set of Excel Mac videos in this playlist.